right, let's solve the question um, The question says, the square root of s minus 1 is the s to the power of 3x minus 20 minus s to the power of s all over s to the power of s minus s equals to s. Ooh. So how do we solve this? The easiest way of doing this is this. You know from our normal algebra, we have the cube root of y equals to 9. We have this. For us to get the value of y, we are going to do what? We are going to cube both sides. Keep both sides. Then this one will cancel out. Now we left with what? Y equals to what? 9 to power 3. So this is the same method we are going to use to solve this question. So we are going to see. We are going to, we are going to take the power of S minus 1. Both sides. S minus 1. So at this one, we now cancel this. So we will be left with. We left with s to the power of 3s minus 20 minus s to the power of x all over s to the power of s minus x equals to s to the power of s minus 1. Alright, now the next thing is we are going to cross multiply. We can take this to the over 1. We cross multiply. This will multiply this. 1 times everything here will still remain. That is s to the power of 3s minus 20, which is equal to s to the power of s minus 1 into s to the power of s minus s. Yes, minus 20 minus s to the power of s. Alright, now this is what we are going to get if we cross multiply. 1 times everything here is this, and this times this is this. Alright, now the next thing we are going to do is, we are going to have s to the power of 3s minus 20 minus s to the power of s, which is equals to, which is equals to, now, s to the power of s minus 1, multiplied by s to the power of s, what is it going to give to us? Let's solve it outside. s to the power of s minus 1, multiplied by s to the power of s, we we'll clear the bracket. Alright, because they are of the same base, and you know from the law of indices, they are of the same base, we just add the powers together. So we are going to say s to the power of s, minus 1 plus s. So which is going to give us what? Going to give us s to the power of s plus s is 2s, then minus 1. So if we multiply this by this, we are going to get s to the power of 2s minus 1. So s to the power of 2s minus 1. Alright, so the next thing here is minus. So we can put our minus sign here. So s to the power of s minus 1 times s. So it's going to be s to the power of s minus 1 multiplied by s. Right? Don't forget your s is to the power of 1. So again, we pick one of the base, then we add the powers together, s minus 1 plus 1. And minus 1 plus 1, we cancel that. We left with what? s to the power of what? s. So this one will be s to the power of s. If we multiply s to the power of s minus 1 times s, we get s to the power of s. Alright. Now, if you look at this now, if you look at this, you will agree with me that this one will cancel out this one. Because if we try to collect the like name, if this s to the power of s come to this other side, okay, let me do that. So we can say s to the power of 3s minus 20 is equal to s to the power of 2s minus 1 minus s to the power of s. I'm moving this one to the other side, so to change it to s to the power of what? s. Right? And don't forget, minus s to the power of s plus s to the power of s is what? Zero. Right? So it's going to cancel out. Then we'll be left with what? We left with s to the power of 3s minus 20, which is equal to s to the power of 2s minus 1. From the law of indices, from the law of indices, we know that they are the same base. So we cancel out the base. Then the power of the word equal. So we can therefore see, so we can therefore see that 3x, 3s minus 20 is equal to what? Is equal to 2s minus 1. So collecting the like times now, we are going to have 3s minus 2s is equal to minus 1 plus what? Plus 20. Right? So 3s minus x, that is what? S. Which is equal to what? Minus 1 plus 19 is what? Plus 20 is what? 19. So it shows that. The answer to this question is what? 19. Alright, thank you.